Libras are very special to me. Majority of the people that I work with, they're Libra and they just bring this calmness and they're organized and the way that they do things, I feel like they're perfectionists. <laughs> Boost even more the positive qualities of the Libras. I got them Jade with Evil Eye. Now, of course, we know Jade is good for luck, prosperity, and I said, this is a time that they should really, really focus on those opportunities made in their career and love. Now, check it out. It's available in our website. Well, the perfection of the signs. <laughs> we are celebrating our five years. Oh, four of ones with a judgment. You need to make a decision in that relationship. We are celebrating, okay? And like what I mentioned there, there is that Jade Evil Eye of, um, um, bracelet that I created for you guys. Oh, of course you're gonna get it for free. I'll talk more about it, how to get it for free at the end of the video, okay? Because it's our anniversary, yes, yeah, so I'm excited. I prepare for this, I mean, come on, the theatrics and everything, okay? So, but let's focus first on your energy. I saw their judgment with the four of ones. I didn't take the cards out. But if the Librans wants out, they're gonna be cutting people left and right. Like I called you the machete of the signs, you know, to be honest. Yeah, it's a queen of swords kind of day, Sal, where, you know, it's like, I don't care. You know, it's like, if they want me, they want me. So you're very much direct, you know, with regards to your handling of your relationship. Okay, so Libra. I upload every day and chances are you haven't seen the past 24 hours reading that I did and it overlaps. So make sure to check that out first, okay? And then we'll be talking more about your jade crystals and your zodiac jade crystal actually. Okay. Let's see. Oh, who's this young? Okay. Ooh, the moon and the stars. Someone thinks of you highly. Highly Jenner, that's what I call. When the moon and the stars aligns together, I call this divine timing. What's going on with the planets? With the planets, as far as you dating someone, we know you're stuck with this person for a while, Saturn in the fifth house, um, in Aquarius. You have a star card, wish fulfillment, the moon, your emotions and feelings. Someone is coming to you, which is a younger water sign. Mm -hmm. I sense that they're quite charming. Okay. One thing that with, um, with the Knight of Cups, let me des describe the Knight of Cups. Their eyes is always the one that will captivate you. That's what it's known for. You know, I know a water sign like that. Yeah, it's like, it's just the eyes. The eyes just speaks, you know. It's the window to the soul. But what we want is their pocket cell. I don't want the window. <laughs> now, the Knight of Cups here with the moon and the star. Your person is trying to persuade you. This is someone who's asking you out on a nice, can be like a dinner or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me see. Now, the moon, since we have the lunar eclipse on your, on your 12th house, had a little, bit, a little bit restless, you know, a little bit tense with regards to, like, sleeping. There's been some major losses, yes, as far, excuse me, as far as expenses. But don't worry, I got you with that one, okay? Because I see here there's a lot of using of credit cards. The moon is the credit card for me because this is the, uh, um, how do you call this? Um, the illusionary cash, you know, and... The moon is like that, okay? Like you think you have something, but you don't, okay? You have the hermit here, soul searching. Someone has been missing you. Hermit and a star. Someone's been wondering, where are you? What are you doing? Why are you not texting? Why are you not replying? Um, well, I feel like you're just in a good state in your life, you know, with a star card. Um, you're just focusing on you, we love. And this is more about transforming on how you deal with relationship as Jupiter will exit your seventh house, okay? So this is a time where if it's gonna work, it is. And if it's not, it's not. In the next two weeks, we will find out, okay? Because Jupiter is gonna go to the eighth. Mm. Now, as far as the Rahu is concerned, you know, in the sixth house, that's where I see kind of like the debts kind of, you know, like manifest, but there's gonna be loans and refinancing that I'm seeing here that you're doing. Venus exalted in the six. Um, chance are you have been some, there has been some purchases, cosmetics is from what I'm seeing here. A little bit splurging. Um, you probably also have just enrolled to a nice uh, gym facility for fitness. I see that. Six of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Your person wants to talk to you, but you look at it it's like what? They're gonna text. I mean, there's no value in that. Mm -hmm. Their efforts basically has no value to you. They're very much happy with you. Three of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. 
This is someone who's very, very, like they enjoy good times, okay? Um, this is reconciling with you, Ten of Pentacles, with the moon. Um, financially, you will, I feel like you'll find a way. These are networking events that I'm seeing. You'll be talking to people, making money, exchanging business cards and information. You'll find the right people to collaborate. Some of you are uh, building a business together with your friends, so just be careful on that one. Uh, you know, because things can become a little bit, you know, like with, when regards to business, um, here's my, my advice for dealing with business. You show that you want money and they better show that they want money also. That's it. Be greedy. Them should be greedy also. That's the only way that's going to work. Don't be like, oh, I won't know. It's okay. No, it's okay. No. You're here to make money. Then show that you want to make money. Show that, you, you know, so that way there's no hidden agenda. You understand me? Mm. Three of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles here with the Moon. Um, you've been thinking of investing. Your sibling also, I feel, needs some sort of financial assistance. Ten of Swords, Empress. Oh, the Sun. With regards to your relationship, oh, I heard a bell. Okay. Um, with regards to your relationship, Empress, Ten of Swords, and the Moon, uh, and the Star, and the Sun. Sorry. Um, I feel like you have tried to really work it out. It didn't, and now you're saying, oh, hear me out here, that. Yeah, it's like, you know, I keep trying, Sal, but it just doesn't work. And now you're seeing, like, maybe it's not supposed to work. Maybe this is it, right? The star and then the sun. Okay. Let me see here. Now, with the Ten of Swords, of course, your person this is not you. I feel that they see you in a different light. You're happy, you're gorgeous, you're amazing, you know. Um... You're doing well, and this is how much they feel betrayed. Like, you know, like, they can't be happy for you, but they're just Debbie Downer right now. But I'm not sure with the Empress and a Swords with the Sun card, like, if all hope is lost, but you are gaining something here. Something about, like, you know, you're about to hit it big. Yeah, you're about to hit it big. Manifestation of your dreams, the, so the vacation, a nice home with the Ten of Pentacles, lots of money. The star, of course, your prayers answered, I mentioned already. But the Empress, she is healthy, okay? And in celebration, if you are manifesting this, well, I got, you've seen me, you know, how I transformed. So I put it all, which, yes, I'm happy to share, the lucky seven. Okay, these are the seven gemstones that I use to basically manifest wealth. Am I wealthy? I feel like I'm pretty much comfortable. Okay, so no, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so but it was just so expensive, and I wanted to have a practical way of sharing remedies. So I made the lucky seven. Now, hold on, of course, since it's our fifth year anniversary, remember the Jade Evil Eye? Of course, you get it for free. The loyal Libran, so as I always say, yesterday I was live on YouTube, I was like, Pentacles, 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 Jade. If I'm wearing one, why aren't you wearing one? So this is free. An amulet given is stronger than it was purchased. So this is my gift to you guys for all who have supported me from, the st from where I started and then of course until now. And you know, if you're just new, yeah, we're always having fun and party here. So when you get your lucky seven bracelet, you go to the website. This is only on our website, okay? And you can choose whatever sign, okay? You got Aries, Storage, Gemini, and it's free, okay? So I'll tag in a card of this video, free shipping in the US, and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And this is a limited edition, okay? You guys know, I, you know, I wear the white for this. It's like, I just want it to be like, um, how do you call this? I want it to feel bougie for the Libra today, so, okay, for today's reading. So check it out, okay? Jade for you, of course, is gonna do wonders. Remember, your Zodiac Piao? I choose Jade for you also. Mm, remember that? Mm. So with a star, with the sun, the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is like being in the right place at the right time. You may be a celebrity. You may be someone who's going to become famous, already famous. Um, this is also, uh, you could be pregnant with an Empress. Congratulations. The sun is the baby also. The star, we don't know the father. <laughs> I'm kidding. So with the star and the Ten of Pentacles, 
Okay, if you're trying to land a big job, a career, this is gonna be it. This is a long-term partnership also. Now, of course, we have to look at the one who you gave up on, who feels a little bit sad and a little bit miserable. Let me see. Well, they're trying to make up their mind, Two of Swords with the Knight of Swords, if they should text you or call you. Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. Yep, it's right here. Um, I wouldn't trust them, even with my, you know, my lunch bologna sandwich, because sometimes I feel like your person does not really reveal their true intention. Seven of Swords. So a little bit sly, a little bit sneaky. We don't like that. Probably that's why you gave up on them. One thing that I see that is gorgeous for the Libra is that you will receive a gift soon by the end of this month. So remember, I always say, when the Graha lives, when, v when Venus also go to your seventh house, I feel like there can be someone new. When Jupiter lives your seventh house, there's something big. And I feel like it's, it's going to be one of those things where it's like, I just thought and it'll never happen in my life, and it does, okay? So, tomorrow we'll touch this subject again. I'll tag this in the corner of this video. Make sure to check it out. These are limited edition, and normally when you order today, it's the next day that I ship. So, I'll see you.